Hello and welcome to Champy Travels. If you identify with different languages outside of your own, like I do, and have been struggling to decide which one to use for your project or your channel, then I have some tips for you. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more inspirations and tips. My name is Champi, I am Mexican and I speak Spanish as my first language, but I decided to make my content and videos in a different tongue than my native one. Being able to speak other languages is a very, very enriching experience. It makes you understand the world in a very different perspective, to see the way languages are in a totally different view. And it's something that is extremely cool. I learned English since I was a young girl and I used it throughout my life. Eventually, when I was a teenager, I also learned French and it was a language that I used to speak quite a lot in my teenager years. I have recently learned other ones and in my day-to-day -day now, I mostly speak Spanish and a mix of Portuguese with my boyfriend. I also have a lot of friends that speak a wide variety of mixes of languages. And maybe this is the case for you too. I would love to know it in the comments below. So sometimes when you tend to speak different languages, it can be hard to choose one for your content, for your videos or for a project that you're thinking about creating. Or even if it's not your first language, sometimes you have that connection with one specific one. Maybe the flow of ideas are much better in that language. When I first started thinking about creating my channel, I was in this situation. And maybe you feel identified by this too. So after overthinking on weeks and finally deciding what I wanted to do, I wanted to share with you my tips for starting your project or channel if these are questions that are also haunting you. A lot of people will tell you how important it is to really think about the niche that you're gonna be focusing on. And this is extremely important. Think about that audience that you want to reach. Make your research, really define it. Be as specific as possible at the beginning. Know who your audience is. The travel industry is huge and I want to center into young travelers that mostly connect with English-speaking audiences. It is the language that really connects the whole world. And to my specific niche and topic, it is the language that really fits. I could have still made that specific niche and topic and make it to probably only Spanish speakers, but that would be a totally different audience and totally different content. So really think about what is it that you want to reach? What is the audience that you want to reach? What is the content that you want to create? What are those specific goals? Why would the audience that you're choosing would want to watch your channel? It is very important to decide which is the audience that you are going specifically for. Maybe it is a topic that relates specifically to a region, for example, Latin American dishes. So maybe then makes more sense to make your channel in Spanish for that audience. If you are doing a broader niche or a broader topic, maybe English is a good fit for your needs. But be mindful that not only because most people speak a specific language means that then your language would do better in that. You will also have more competition. So it's not a bad idea to also make it in your native tongue. Which brings me to point number two if you're speaking a language that is not your native tongue. That is a very specific question to ask yourself. I'm not saying that if you do not feel completely comfortable with that language that you should not use it. On the contrary, as long as you're understandable, then go for it if that is what you want. By speaking more and more in that language, you will see how you improve. Or maybe you're worried that you have an accent in English and that people might criticize you for that. In my experience, well, you can clearly see that I have an accent in English, but I have been praised because of it. Because I have taken the time to actually learn the language and communicate with other people that do not know any other one. And for a lot of people, this is amazing that you actually learn the language, that you're making content in that language that is not your native one. And there will always be people who criticize you, but that's not the important thing. Those are not the people that you should be focusing on, that do not understand what a struggle you have overcome to actually be speaking this in front of a camera. And that is a major milestone already. You will for sure find an audience that will connect with you and watch your content regardless of your accent. Practice makes perfect. I have already mentioned it and you will probably struggle at the beginning if you choose another language that is not your native tongue. As you keep practicing, you will only get better and better with time. And believe me when I tell you, the more you do it, the more confident you will get. When I just start learning another language or maybe I've known it for some time, I love speaking it with other people. Even if I know I make mistakes or if I'm not saying things correctly, I just start speaking because then I know how I will start improving if I just keep doing it. And by speaking to a camera, it's another way of also practicing. So honestly, practice makes perfect.
A more personal tip I wanted to share with you is that sometimes this other language that is not my native one, it's always in my head. I sometimes even think in this language or even dream in this language. And this may happen to you too with another one. In my case, it has been English. And I tended to revolve around people that spoke English. I lived in countries that their main language was English. And even sometimes being in Mexico, I have been with friends where everybody speaks Spanish, but maybe just one person speaks English. So we, because of being polite, we would speak English so that this person would also understand. The English language has opened so many doors to me. I have been able to travel around to meet amazing people, some of my best friends that I have met in this language. Or more recently, my Brazilian boyfriend, well, we met speaking in English. So it has a very special place in my heart. So really also think about that. Is there a specific language that has a special place in your heart? Then maybe that's the one that you should choose. One that has been unique to you. Maybe that is even your own language and that is okay. But if it's another one, it's perfectly all right too. And I have just recently realized that. I hope that this is inspirational for you. It has certainly been for me. And no, you are not betraying your own language if you do not choose that one. If you choose to make your channel or your project in a language that is not your native tongue, that is not that tongue of your parents, it's okay. But what if my parents or my family or my closest friends do not understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's a point. But they may be not part of your focused audience that you're wanting to target. And as much as it's amazing to be able to share all of these projects and contents and videos that you're making, it ultimately depends on what it is that you want to share with the world. For me, this was a specifically hard decision because my mom does not speak English very well as the rest of my family and close friends do. So I was struggling a lot because my mom would not understand it. But in the end, I realized this was the best decision to make for my targeted audience and I stuck with it. If you are really struggling to decide, maybe you can do it in both languages. A lot of creators do this and it does take a lot of work. But if it's something that you truly want to do, maybe it's worth your time. Just keep in mind that you will work extra time because you're making content in two languages. So making videos two times. Or maybe you can mix it up. Maybe create certain videos in English for a wider audience and create something more specific for targeted audience in your native tongue. I decided to make my content only in English because of how much time consuming it would be to do it otherwise. But if you feel strong about it, if you want to make it in both, then do them. Create your channel in the ones that you want or in the one that you want. There will be the audience for it if you do your research. Make your content about something that you truly, truly love. This is extremely important. Create content that you absolutely adore even if nobody watches it. Because creating something, it's very easy when you're passionate about it. And if you do what feels right to you regarding the language, stick to it and it will work if you're passionate and you believe in what you do. If for some reason you eventually realize that it would have been much better doing it in another language, you can always change it eventually if it does not work. If you started your channel in Spanish and eventually after some time you realize that maybe it would have worked better in English or in French or in Portuguese, then go ahead and maybe rechange it, rethink it, see the pros and cons, check all the possibilities. You can always do it in a different one. It will take a lot of time and effort again, but there is always that possibility. But most importantly, do not overthink it. I spent days, weeks, and even months thinking about this decision and it was just stressing me out. I could not sleep. I was always waking up during the middle of the night, maybe already deciding on something and then after a few hours changing it again. It was really, really stressing me out. There were so many questions in my head, like how can I do this to my mom if she does not understand? Am I betraying being Mexican because I'm not doing it in Spanish and I'm choosing another language other than Spanish? Would I even be able to speak to my audience in this language? There were so many things in my head. So a lot of questions and ideas will be running in your head all day and you won't be able to make it stop unless you just do it. Create that channel, create that project, make it happen. If you're struggling with a name, with a language, if you don't know where to start, then make your research and just start creating it. That is the best way that you will learn if you made the right decision or not. Nobody starts doing something perfectly from the very beginning. You will have a learning curve, you will learn new things, you understand if it's, you're going the right direction, if you're going towards the right path. 
And if it's not, then you can also start and tweak it so that it goes to the right path. If you start reading your content, you will sooner realize if it's something that you're making wrong, if there's a mistake that you're doing. If you do not do it, you will never know. Of course, before starting right away, you need to really think about what I just told you earlier. Your niche, define your audience, your topic, what is it, the goals that you want to achieve with this project. But once that you have something that looks quite all right, then start creating and start sharing it. It is the best way to do it. Remember, this is your project and you decide the direction that you are going. You will have to work hard, but believe me, if you're doing something that truly is coming from your heart, that is something that you love to do, you will soon be in the right path. I hope this has been helpful to you, that this might inspire you to start going and creating and making that project happen for you. Whatever it is that you have dreamt of creating, then this is the time to start. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more inspirations and tips. I would love for you to be part of this community. Thank you and see you in the next video.